Hey everyone, how's it going? So, time for a channel update. It is the 22nd of July, so that's pretty exciting. Um, so this is an important one, alright? So watch this video uh, if you are really interested in coming, uh, what's coming up on the channel, because this week is actually pretty, uh, it's going to be pretty productive. Alright, so the first, uh, the recap, alright, what happened last week. So last week I didn't really plan on doing anything at all. Let me actually double check because I think I did... Did I only do one thing or two? I'm not exactly uh, positively sure. Alright, well last week I did the uh, review for the Gunner Optic glasses, which are over there. So if you're interested about hearing Gunners, you know, they're those glasses that you see at Best Buy, they're for gamers. If you're interested about, wonder, if you're wondering if, they're, if they work or if they're just, you know, a waste of money, go ahead and watch that video. They actually do work as advertised, so... Um, uh, go ahead and check that out. And the second thing I did is I actually did uh, two videos on the Ghost Recon Arctic Strike uh, multiplayer map pack, all right? And um, I actually used my capture card on those, all right? So you can go watch those if you're wondering about the map pack. I didn't do um, a video of all the maps yet, uh, but, uh, you know, I kind of, I was going to do some later. I don't, I didn't, I didn't actually record any of the other maps, so those two videos are basically all you guys are going to see. Unless there's just some reason that you guys want to see more of them at all, but uh, but the next opportunity I have to actually do videos on Ghost Recon Future Soldier is going to be two weeks, and by then the map pack is probably going to be really old, and there's no one's going to care. But uh, I did some videos on that. Um, so yeah, so how was my weekend? I think uh, uh, besides from you know doing YouTube, it was actually kind of productive. Uh, I got basically pretty much almost everything done. Uh, I beat Turok. That's good. Beat it for the, uh, geez, the fourth time, fifth time. I've had it on the PlayStation 3 on release, and I got rid of it. So I bought uh, another copy at GameStop, got it for the 360 so I can get achievements and stuff like that, and went ahead and beat it. So, you know, that game was fun. I don't know why people, I don't know why when it came out it got really mediocre reviews, because it was pretty fun. I actually really enjoyed that game. I liked the story. Um, the characters are, uh, but uh, the story was interesting. Uh, the graphics were you know, decent at the time, and um, the gameplay was pretty good, too. I mean, I don't know why people rated that game like 6 and like 5s even. I, I have no idea why. It was a pretty good game. Um, so, But I beat that. Uh, I beat Tomb Raider Underworld. I beat that in like basically a day. I, I started playing like the night I beat Turok. I only got through the first level, and then the next day I just speed it, speed it through it. So... Uh, I actually have all now Tomb Raider Legend, Anniversary, and now Underworld all on the Xbox Live, uh, you know, game list and everything like that. So I have all the achievements there. Now I'm fully prepared for the Tomb Raider reboot in March 2013. That's going to be exciting. So I did that, and um, really uh, frustrating control issues with that with those games. And then I actually started playing Bioshock, as you guys remember, uh, the last channel update. I got the original Bioshock. The one when it was an exclusive for the Xbox 360 and P, uh, Windows PC. So I got that copy and I started playing it and uh, got through a, you know a good amount of it today. I'll probably be through. I'll probably be it the next time over there at that house. Um, but yeah, uh, you know I got I did get um, a pretty good amount of stuff done. Basically all the gaming stuff uh, that I wanted to get done, I got done. I also got to the last level in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. I swear I've always. I, 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 what I do is I create challenges for myself in games so that when I go to play them, you know, I actually feel like I have something to accomplish so I don't get bored right away. So I'll be like, uh, for instance, like in Call of Duty, uh, I wanted to actually get to level 80 and max out my rank in multiplayer so I can just lead the game, you know. I don't want to have to feel like I can still earn something in the game. But uh, it was double XP this weekend in Modern Warfare 3, so I said, okay, fine, I'll test it out. I played it for... I, I was like, I'm only going to play for an hour, and I started playing it, and then I actually started playing it for three to four hours, and, you know, I started leveling up really fast, and I got to level 80, and I thought I maxed out, right, and then I check, and there's actually a progression system after level 80. It actually, it, you, you actually had to level up past level 80, and then you could prestige, but I'm not going to prestige. I, I, I see no point in prestiging whatsoever in games. Why should you prestige in games just to work towards something that you already worked towards, you know? Why should I have to unlock the same stuff that I unlocked? Or just, just to get a couple of emblems and just to get a couple more challenges or attachments or whatever. It's like, 
Why, why, why is that necessary? You know, I don't see the point you're prestiging. I think it's stupid in any game. Why should I have to redo what I just did? So, but a lot of people, I think a lot of people do prestiging because they don't play as many games. Um, that's another thing. Uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, may not have enough money to buy new games all the time. So they're like, okay, I just got to get the most out of this game that I purchased, and therefore they play it until it's basically, you know, doesn't work anymore. Uh, but I did that. And now, uh, now let's go on to you know next week because this week is actually pretty exciting. I have officially ordered. I ordered this yesterday, two days ago. I ordered, I ordered this two days ago. I ordered the Aver Media Game Broadcaster HD. I did a little. I did a little bit more research before I um you know did anything with it. And uh, I went ahead and um, I had to buy component cables for my PS3. Now I totally forgot I was going to bring some over from um from uh. You know, my mom's house. I actually had the the cat, the game, the, the actual capture card came with some compatible cables. I was just gonna plug that in there, but I just completely forgot. Now I have to buy component cables. But uh, I bought the capture card. All right, it's supposed to be here tomorrow. All right, so when it comes tomorrow, I'll do an unboxing. I'll set it up and I'll do test videos of both PS3 and um, the PC footage. All right, so hopefully everything will be fine. Everything will go perfect. Uh, some people have also pointed out. You can't record PC. Uh, you can't record PC game footage on the same PC with that with that card. It's like, yeah, you can. All right. What you do is you get an HDMI cord to, to HDMI. I actually just ordered an HDMI to HDMI. All right. So you get an HDMI cord, right? And you plug it from your graphics card into the capture card, all right, into your computer, and then you duplicate your display. Therefore, it's just repeating what you're seeing on screen already. So there's like no worry. But that's how you capture uh, on, on the same PC. Um, but yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, I ordered that, it's pretty exciting, I'm gonna come unbox it, and then I'll set up, and I'll do some videos for you guys, test it out, um, and then we're pretty much good, alright, I think that's pretty much, uh, you know, we're pretty much on track here, alright, I cannot wait for Sleepy Dogs, uh, that's coming out August 15th, that's pretty much the first game that we have that's gonna kickstart this, this just, Oversaturating, you know, too many games, uh, you know, holiday month that we're gonna have. I mean, this is—it's looking even worse than last year. I mean, last year was hard. Last year was really hard. Now this year is even gonna be tougher. So, geez, but I think uh, it's gonna be cool. All right, I'm excited to see uh, to play Sleeping Dogs. I think it's gonna be fantastic as far as the story goes. I think it's gonna be a little bit more Saints Rowish instead of Grand Theft Auto, but they have elements from different games. They're like they have carjacking from Wheelman. Finally, another game implements that, uh, carjacking. Um, and then they have, uh, you know, they have, like, the good story to back it up. I was actually watching um, some voice, uh, a voice actor trailer and stuff like that. They have a lot of cool voice actors in it, like Emma Stone's in it. Like, that was a surprising thing. I think that, I think this is her first video game. But um, they have some pretty cool voice actors in there. So I'm really excited to see what the story is like and the graphics. You know, the graphics look really good. The gameplay looks pretty fun. It's just going to be an overall fun game. So I can't wait for that to come. I actually uh, I used a gift card on it, so I'm paying. I'm only paying like thirty five dollars for it. Pretty uh, so it's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, all right. Oh, another thing I want to mention is the uh, Road to Ripped video. I did a Road to Ripped video. Now this is a series that was started by Sun Twisted, um, and basically kind of has inspired a lot of other people to uh, to do it. It's more about you know like pro fitness. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get we're trying to be the most fit in the three month time period who can be the most fit and um, it started last week and I did my video today just to clarify what I'm doing now on Friday yes on Friday on Friday I'm gonna post another video for it and it's gonna be more in detail I'm gonna tell you guys my BMI uh, you know the, the body fat percentage and I'm gonna you know just explain you know in detail uh, more about it so uh, expect that coming up on Friday. But yeah, that's it. So what you can expect this week is you're going to expect a PlayStation 3 capture test uh, um, capture test video, and you're going to see one for the PC as well, and then you're going to see one with commentary, and then you're going to see another one with commentary, and uh, they'll just be test videos more or less, all right? And then I'll try to do, maybe I'll do a video here and there. If I have something I want to talk about, maybe I'll just post up something, but uh, we'll see. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. And I uh, hope you're excited because I am. And um, yeah, see ya. Bye.